Hi there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Gardner and this next series of videos I'm doing is hopefully going to help you as a beginner machinist work through your lathe skills to probably progressing from absolutely no knowledge at all to hopefully by the end of the series of videos knowing the fundamentals of how to use a lathe. So what makes me a good person to tell you guys about how to use a lathe? What experience do I have? Well, to be honest with you, it was only sort of like four, maybe five months ago now that I got this lathe. And to be honest, I feel like my skills on the lathe have improved dramatically. So much so I want to share my experience and knowledge with you guys to help you with your new lathe. So that's exactly what this series of videos is going to be about. And today we're going to start off with the basics and just walking you through all the parts that make up a lathe and how you use them in day-to-day -day working life. So let's start off with what is a lathe? So taken straight from the Oxford Dictionary, a lathe is a machine that shapes pieces of wood or metal by holding and turning them against a fixed tool. So yeah, that definition is, um, is fa fairly accurate. The lathe basically spins up bits of metal in our case and lets you machine them to really high precision accuracy. Depending on the budget and the lathe that you've got, um, depends on sort of the precision that you can get. But as we're talking mini lathes mainly in this video, we will be mainly looking at the dials of my lathe and we'll be working off of them. So let's take you over to the lathe now and we'll go through all the bits that you need to know what they do and what they are on a lathe. So this is my lathe, it's a Walco WM180 lathe and I would class this as a mini lathe or a benchtop lathe just because of the sheer size of it, it's not very big indeed. Centre to centre is 300mm. So assuming that you've never ever touched a lathe before, I'm going to quickly run over all the bits on the lathe and exactly what they do. So we'll start on the left hand side and work our way down. So behind this cover here is a set of change gears. You can use them to cut threads or to use the, uh, the lead screw to power feed your work across. But we'll go through that in more detail later so don't get worried about that. Next we've got basically like the on off button, forward reverse, emergency stop and down here a variable speed controller with a digital display. Now, your lathe might not have this, but it's gonna have something very similar in this in the way of setup and design. So that's the gears and power on and off, basically. Now we move to the business part of the lathe. So we'll start up here, the chuck and headstock. Currently, I've got a free jaw chuck fitted just because I find that very convenient for turning down circular material. So the run out and accuracy on these things is super, super accurate. Uh, when you buy your lathe, you'll probably get a printout and it'll tell you sort of the run out that your chuck's getting. But this is essentially where you're gonna mount your pieces of work that you wanna spin up and cut. So that is the chuck. So down here, this long bit that runs all the way along the lathe, we refer to that as the bed. My bed is a double V bed, um, ground and hardened. So that is that. So this part here is where you're going to be doing most of your cuts. We'll start with this bottom dial here. So this thing here we refer to as the carriage. And this hand wheel basically moves your carriage backwards and forwards. You're mainly going to use this for turning down material. So you're going to be working it down the, down the bit of material and back up again. So moving up from the carriage hand wheel, we have our cross slide. So the main purpose of this cross slide is we use this when we do facing on material and also dialing in the depths of cut. Attached to the cross slide is our compound rest. This we can swivel backwards and forwards at set angles and we can use that to cut tapers but also we can use it to dial in really fine adjustment and on top of the compound rest you have your tool post so i'm still running the uh, tool post that came with the lathe 
you might have by now swapped this out for a quick change tool post but they both do the same job so moving down the lathe a little bit more at this end we have the tailstock you can use the tailstock for a fair few applications i currently have a live center on it now but you can also use it for sort of drilling holding your tap square it's got quite a lot of different applications but in the upcoming videos we're going to run through all this in a lot more detail so that is the lathe left to right just a few little bits down here that i want to cover with you so this thing down here on your lathe is really important so you need to treat it with the love and care it deserves so this here is your lead screw this is what you're going to use every time you want to cut threads or use that power feed function on your lathe so you need to make sure this thing is kept in good condition always wipe like chips off of it and just treat it with respect so that is an overview of the lathe my walko one might be slightly different to your one but most lathes are the same they all serve the same purpose and that purpose is to turn down metal so i hope that's helped you understand a little bit more about the lathe this first video was literally just a basic introduction into the lathe and what it does in my next video i'm going to cover tooling different types of tooling you can get on the lathe and what different purpose they have i hope you've enjoyed this video guys stay tuned for my next one in the series and for now watch some of my previous videos and subscribe see you in the next one